Praise be to Jesus. Ammonia Zimmerman here, and praise be to Jesus. The Oregon Trail, classic game. It says you may be a banker from Boston, be a carpenter from Ohio, be a farmer from Illinois. Well, I suppose I'm going to be a carpenter. What is the first name of the wagon leader? That would be me. I can't type Ammoniah Zimmerman, just Ammoniah. What are the first names of the four other members in your party? Let's type Julia. Caleb. And, uh, Liam. And let's see, Claire. It is 1848. Your jumping off place for Oregon is Independence, Missouri. You must decide which month to leave Independence. Let's see. Well, I'm going to say let's go in March. Before leaving Independence, you should buy equipment and supplies. You have $800 in cash, but you don't have to spend it all now. You can buy whatever you need at Matt's General Store. Hello, I'm Matt. So you're going to Oregon. I can fix you up with what you need. A team of oxen to pull your wagon, clothing for both summer and winter. Plenty of food for the trip, ammunition for your rifles, spare parts for your wagon. All right, well, obviously we need the oxen. There are two oxen in a yoke. I recommend at least three yoke. I charge 40 a yoke. How many yoke do you want? Well, if you say I should get three, then I guess I should get three. Well, let's see. We need food. I recommend you take at least 200 pounds of food for each person in your family. I see that you have five people in all. You'll need flour, sugar, bacon, and coffee. My price is 20 cents a pound. How many pounds of food do you want? Let's see, 200 pounds of food for each person, and that's five people. So that would be a thousand pounds. So let's do that. All right, we need clothing. You'll need warm clothing in the mountains. I recommend taking at least two sets of clothes per person. Each set is $10. How many sets of clothes do you want? Well, five. All right, I need ammunition. Let's get some of that. I sell ammunition in boxes of 20 bullets. Each box costs $2. How many boxes do you want? Let's see here. Let's take two boxes. All right, spare parts. It's a good idea to have a few spare parts for your wagon. Here are the prices. Let's see, wagon wheel, 10 cents, wagon axle, 10 cents. Oh no, it's $10. Wagon tongue, $10. How many wagon wheels? Well, I guess, uh, hmm. Let's get two. Wagon axle, uh, I guess that's two, right? Two, we need two. Well, no, no, let's just buy one. Uh, wagon tongue. I'm not sure if what, what a wagon tongue is, but let's just buy one. All right, now we're done. Well then, you're ready to start. Good luck. You have a long and difficult journey ahead of you. Praise
be to Jesus. Praise be to Jesus, our God. All right. Weather is cold. Health is good. Pace is steady. Rations are filling. All right. Now, continue on the trail. Check supplies. Look at map. Change pace. Change food rations. Stop to rest. Attempt to trade. Uh, talk to people by supplies. All right. Well, let's change the rations. It says it's filling. This is only a game, so it doesn't matter. The amount of food the people in your party eat each day can change. These amounts are filling. Means large and generous, or meager. Means are small but adequate. Definitely that. All right. We shall continue on the trail. From Independence, it is 102 miles to the Kansas River crossing. Let us go. Broken wagon axle already? Damn. Would you like to try to repair it? Ah, uh, yes I would. You were able to repair the wagon axle. He's moving along nicely. You are now at the Kansas River Crossing. Would you like to look around? <coughs> hmm. Sure, why not? All right. Check supplies. Well, let's check supplies. Why not, right? Oxen six, set of clothing five, bullets 40. Money left 386. Okay. Let's talk to people. And try that and see what happens. A stranger tells you, Can't afford to take a ferry. We're making our wagon into a boat. We'll turn it over, caulk the bottom and sides with pitch, and use it to float our goods across. Have to swim the animals. Hope it doesn't rain. The river's high enough. Okay, well, I guess we're going to see what we can do. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 648 feet across and 7.5 feet deep in the middle. You may attempt to ford the river, caulk the wagon and float it across, take a ferry across, wait to see if conditions approve, get more information. I'm taking a ferry. Fuck that. The ferry operator says that he will charge you $5 and that you will have to wait six days. Are you willing to do this? Hell yes. Your ferry got your party and wagon across safely. I'm doing pretty good in this game so far. Hope no one gets sick, though. From the Kansas River Crossing, it is 82 miles to the Big Blue River Crossing. Watch something break. You are now at the Big Blue River Crossing. Would you like to look around? No. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 235 feet across and 3 feet deep in the middle. Well, I'm going to, as they say, attempt to ford the river. I can't use a ferry, huh? Huh. Then I'll do what the other guy did and caulk the wagon and float it across. Let's do this. Yeah, you had no trouble floating the wagon across. I'm doing pretty good. From the Big Blue River crossing, it is 118 miles to Fort Kearney. Let's do this. Let's do this. We are there. You are now at Fort Kearney. 
Would you like to look around? I guess we will. Let's check our supplies. Why we should definitely do that. How's our food? 750 pounds. That's pretty good. We got one wagon tongue, one wagon axle, uh, two wheels. Yeah, we're doing. We're good. We're good. We're good. Let's continue. From Fort Kearney, it is 250 miles to Chimney Rock do that. Severe blizzard, lose one day. Okay, not a big deal. Our health is fair. Why is our health only fair? We're getting there, though. You are, uh, you are now at Chimney Rock. Would you like to look around? Uh, sure. Praise be to Jesus our God. God is love. Alright. Let's talk to the people. Maybe they'll give us a hint. Aunt Rebecca Sims tells you, I hear terrible stories about wagon parties running out of food before Oregon. The whole party starving to death. We must check our supplies often. We might not get there as soon as we think. Always plan for the worst, I say. Okay, okay, all right. We'll check our supplies. We'll do that. I don't think we can buy anything right now, though. What do we got? 590 food? Yeah, we probably should buy some food. Let's see. Let's, uh... Let's see, attempt to trade, I guess. You meet another immigrant who wants one set of clothing, he will trade you. F I don't want to trade bullets. Wait a minute, huh? Oh, I hit the wrong thing. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, attempt to trade, seven. What I want is food. What did I t attempt to trade? Oh, did I hit the wrong button? No one wants to trade with you today. Oh, okay. Well, then, fine. Let's go ahead. From Chimney Rock, it is 86 miles to Fort Laramie. All right, let's do it. Claire has exhaustion. Well, what is she doing that's making her tired? William has dysentery. Well, that's not good. Our health is poor. What do we need to do to keep our health good? You pass a grave site. Would you like to look closer? Here lies Voland. Hey, hey, hey. Come out and play. You are now at Fort Laramie. Would you like to look around? going to, uh, we're at a fort, right? We can buy supplies. Alright. Well, I guess, what do we need? Medicine? I don't know. Uh, we need food. I mean, besides food, I don't know what we need. But we need food. How many pounds? Um, let's go with a thousand. Did I tell I don't have enough? Well, uh, I guess, did I buy it? I guess I bought it. That's a little confusing. So let me check my supplies to see if I bought it. Pounds, okay, I got it. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's continue on the trip. I don't know how to, how to make them more healthy. Look at map, change pace. Well, we could change the pace, I guess. Let's change the pace. A steady pace, a strenuous pace, uh, what are we at already? The pace at which you travel can change. You 
choices are a steady pace, a strenuous pace. Uh, uh, what are we going at now? I, get, I thought we were going at a steady pace, but we'll just, whatever, right? Okay, what can you do? From Fort Laramie, it is 190 miles to Independence Rock. Severe blizzard leaves one day. You find an abandoned wagon with the falling lane. 21 bullets, one wagon axle, two wagon tongues. Oh, that's sweet. Our health is poor, though. How? Let me hold on. Uh, let's, let's change the food rations. Maybe that makes us more healthy. Let's change that to one filling. Oh, you can hunt for food. Look at that. But I have enough food, so let's continue. Maybe that increases. Our health is poor. I don't know how else. Oh, that does, that does increase the health. Eating more. Lose Lose trail, lose five days. Oh, look, my health is going back up. Okay. That's fine. Let's keep going. I think I'm going to make it to the end. You are now at Independence Rock. Would you like to look around? Checker supplies. Let's just go. Yeah, well, I remember playing this game as a kid, or was it a teen, whatever it was. It was hard, but uh, I'm having a pretty good time of it now. From Independence Rock, it is 102 miles to South Pass. Watch, something's gonna break. Wrong trail loose in two days. That's not bad. I might want to try some hunting. Yeah, I bought the bullets. Caleb has a broken arm. Well, that sucks for him, doesn't it? You are now at South Pass. Would you like to look around? Sure. Praise be to Jesus. God is love. Continue on the trail. The trail divides here. You may head for Green River Crossing, head for Fort Brigadier. Well, let's look at the map. All right, Fort Brigadier, and the other one is what? I don't remember what the other one was. It's green, green something. All right, well, let's go to the Fort Fort. Brigadier because it sounds better than a river. Let's do it. From South Pass is 125 miles to Fort Brigadier. Yeah, our health is good. His arm is probably healed. I got plenty of food. God is good. You are now at Fort Brigadier. Br or, or no, Bridger. Bridger, I'm sorry. Would you like to look around? Yes. God is love. God is love. Alright. I'm going to continue on the trail because it's going good, isn't it? From Fort Bridger, it is 162 miles to Soda Springs. Yeah. Kicking ass and taking names. That's what we're doing. Oh, we find wild fruit. Brings our food up, which is already pretty high. Yeah. We're there. This game is, is just going smoothly. Inadequate grass. Julia has a broken arm. 
You are not Soda Springs. Would you like to look around? Yes, I would. Check supplies. What do we got? Six fifty for food. Uh, well, well, well. I think we're fine to be honest. I want to hunt anyway, so let's just do it. From Soda Springs, it is fifty-seven miles to Fort Hall. That'd be no pro no problem. Adequate grass, very little water. You were not Fort Hall, would you like to look around? Yes. God is love, yeah, God is good, yeah, 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 alright. Alright, uh, I want to, uh, well, let's talk to some people. A fellow traveler tells you. Fort Hall is a busy fort. The wide stretches of meadow grass here are just what your are tired animals need. As for me, I'll fix up the wagon leaks. Amanda's real anxious to wash all the clothes and linens in one of these, those clear streams. Well, that's nice. All right, let's go. From Fort Hall, it is 182 miles to the Snake River Crossing. Snakes. Very little water. Very little water. Caleb has a broken arm. Inadequate grass. William has dysentery. Impassable trail loose five days. One of the oxen is injured. Bad water. Very little water. Uh, you pass a grave site. Would you like to look at it closer? Here lies Jiffer. All right, let's do this. Rough trail. Inadequate grass. You are now at the Snake River Crossing. Would you like to look around? to rest. Why don't we? How many days would you like to rest? Let's rest for two days. Mm, let's rest for two more days. Whoops. Change pace. Look at map. Change food rations. Stop to rest. That's the one I got. Yeah. How many days would you like to rest? Two more. Or Health is fair, so okay, our health is still fair. Let's attempt to trade. Uh, I know I said I wanted to hunt. Why I need? Why if I if I don't need to? It doesn't matter. Let's see. Let's get some. You meet another immigrant who wants one wagon wheel. She will trade you thirty-two pounds of food. Are you willing to trade? Man, look, my food is low. I'm gonna say no because I went on. All right. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 1,000 feet across and six feet deep in the middle. Attempt to ford the river, caulk the wagon, hire an Indian to help. Well, what's the Indian gonna do? Let's hire an Indian. A Shoshone guide says that he will take your wagon across the river in exchange for two sets of clothing. I will do that. The Shoshone guide will help you float your wagon across. Yeah. That's a long one, isn't it? You had no trouble floating the wagon across. From the Snake River Crossing, it is 113 miles to Fort Boys. 
And let's see, our food's at 140 pounds. I'm gonna have to do some hunting. Let's uh, let's enter now. Hunt for food. There we go. Let's see. Do start or stop walking is enter key to point the rifle. I'm not an expert, but I'm going to use the expert keys. Fire the rifle, okay. Enter to start. You can't shoot sideways, huh? How do I walk? Can I walk? How do you do this here? Oh. Let's see, it's like a tank. Oh. Gotcha. How do you pick it up? No, I guess you can't pick it up. It just automatically adds it. From the animal you shot, you gained 151 pounds of meat. However, you were only able to carry 100 pounds back to the wagon. Let's check supplies. Alright, we got 225 pounds of food. That's not enough. Let's hunt for some food. Some confusing controls. Ah, I'm wasting bullets because I'm not used to this, All right? Where are they? Look like Jason. Friday the 13th. Where's the animals at? Well, squirreling doesn't do nothing. Oh, yeah, give me that bear. We're unable to shoot any food. We're gonna hunt again. And this time we're gonna get something. I should move forward. Come on. I should move down a little bit. Uh, that sucker. Come on. I need some food. Where is he? Give me that bear. Give me him. Give me that. Oh, yeah. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. Alright, from the animals you shot, you got 137 pounds of meat. However, you were only able to carry 100. So, how much do I got now? 295. Mm. Let's hunt one last time. Let's do this. Yeah. Come here, bear. Bitch! Bitch! Yeah, that's right. I'm a killing machine. Bitch! I'm a killing machine. Bitch! That's way more meat than I can carry, I know it. But I'm having fun shooting anyway. Alright, come on. Check our supplies one last time. What do we got? 380. It might not be enough, but then it might be. You don't know. Let's just find out. Wait, 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 wait. One of our oxens is dead. Ooh. Alright, hold on. How do you. Let's um, change food rations to, to small, to meager. Wait, is it already at meager? Yeah, no, it's not. Because I changed it earlier. All right, continue on the trail. Yeah, we made it. Fort Boise, would you like to look around? Why not? Alright, we need to buy supplies. I don't know how you're supposed to get more money. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's buy supplies. Now, um, you can't sell, can you? Huh? Well, let's buy, first of all, let's buy food. 
Uh, let's see here. Let's buy f 600 pounds of food. Can't afford that many? Hmm. Well, then 500. Five hundred pounds. You can't afford that. Okay, I don't know how to get more money, but let's try four hundred pounds. Damn. All right, then fine. Let's try three hundred pounds. Oh, sheesh. Can't afford that. Let's try two hundred pounds. Sheesh. Still can't afford it. All right. 100 pounds. You have 36 left. Let's look, check our supplies, see if we got ammo, because that wasn't a lot of food. It was not a lot of food. Um, so we'll check our supplies. How much ammo do we got? 45 bolts? Okay, alright. We got that's not a lot of food. And I can't buy another oxen right now. So let's continue. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How do you... Hmm. Let's change our supplies since our health is uh, fair. Let's change our rations, I mean. We're going to change it. And continue on the trail. Heavy fog, lose one day. Rough trail. Very little water. Inadequate grass. My health is fair. Heavy fog. Julia has a broken leg. You're now the Blue Mountain. Would you like to look around? Attempt to trade, I guess. I want food. No one wants to trade with you. I don't know how you're supposed to get money. Alright, well then, let's continue. The trail divides here. You may head for Fort Walla Walla. Head for the Dales. Dales? Dallas. For, for the Dallas. Let's uh, head for a fort because it sounds safer. Alright. Down to 80 pounds of food. You find an abandoned wagon with the following two sets of clothing and 21 bullets. You're now at Fort Walla Walla. Would you like to look around? They should just show it to you. They shouldn't even ask you. Buy supplies with our thirty-six dollars. Uh, let's see. Food. How many pounds? Let's go with fifty. I don't know if we can afford that, but I have eleven left. All right. We have a wait. We have eleven dollars left. So let's get 11 pounds more food. Just so I don't overshoot it, let's say 10. You have $6 left. All right, well then let's uh, spend that last bit, I guess, and try six, whatever. $3 left. You can tell I'm not thinking of math, all right. Yeah, we're gonna buy it. So let me try to figure that out, see 50. Uh, All right, let's leave. Broken wagon tongue, would you like to repair it? 
You are unable to repair the broken wagon tongue. You must replace it with a spare part. That water. Clara's typhoid. Oh, she's going to die. I'm very poor. Well, how do you get better? Julia has died. Mm. Killed his dead for it. You're out, Dales. Would you like to look around? Uh, how much supplies do we got of food? I got zero food? Damn. Whoa. I'm gonna have to do some hunting, I suppose. Well, let's see if we can do some trading first. Caleb has died. Wait a minute, what? Damn. 147 bullets. I don't have that. Let's continue with the trail. Float down the river or take the toll road. Let's take the toll road. Damn, that's too much. I can't afford that. I'm gonna try anyway, just see if it says, you know, I have nothing to think so, alright. We'll float it. After passing the third direction sign, land your raft at the trail. Right. Uh, Claire drowned. Four oxen, one set of clothing. Damn! supposed to go oh I guess I'm going down but I gotta move side to side I thought I was supposed to get to the other side well I did not know that Dude, it's still doing pretty good though move it won't move oh I missed it anyway nice but whatever. It's a little uh, boring here. How long is this river? How long is this river, man? No, this could be, this game could be better. This right here is just boring. In fact, I'm starting to get bored with the whole game. But maybe we're at the end. Man, this is a long road. Is that where I'm supposed to go? you have made to Oregon. Let's see how many points you have received. Points for arriving in Oregon. Two people in very poor health, 400. One wagon, 50. Uh, let's see. One spare wagon part, two. 44 bullets, zero. I get zero for bullets. 115 cash. I, I get a total of 452 points. If you're going as a carpenter, your points are doubled. Ooh. Wait a minute, my points are doubled. Then why is it at 452? I get 400 for two people. Okay, I see. Now, now it's doubled. Now it's doubled. Alright.
You have accumulated 904 points. This is not enough to qualify for the Oregon Top 10. And that's the game. Praise be to Jesus. Praise be to Jesus. Praise be to Jesus.